California's Capitol tree finally lit tonight, a day after concerns over protests led to the cancellation of the annual outdoor event. Well, tonight we're seeing what kind of ceremony was held in its place. With no fanfare, California's Capitol tree is now shining bright, but there were no cheers or applause outside the Capitol, no carolers or dancers, no governor, just a few people on hand on this quiet, rainy night. This is really beautiful. It's That's gorgeous. Beautiful. This year's annual lighting ceremony on the West Steps was canceled because of security concerns over protests. We were sad to see the protests and to see interruption on a, such a joyous occasion. Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing. I wish they had held it. In past years, the annual lighting event was packed with kids and families. Seasons greetings and happy holidays, California. But this year, those festivities were pre-recorded and streamed online. You got to push the button, huh? Five-year-old Harley was selected this year to light the tree, an honor that traditionally goes to a child with developmental disabilities. They called us last week and let us know that the event was going to be switched to an a virtual event. It was originally supposed to take place Tuesday, the same day as a pro-Palestinian demonstration. The decision to cancel the public ceremony was made by the governor's office. I saw the protests and I just think like that would have been really difficult for our daughter who's on the spectrum. The public cancellation also impacting the family's efforts to raise awareness about kids with disabilities in front of a large in-person crowd. That part was disappointing uh, to not have that opportunity. Though the tradition may have been broken, many are still glad to see the state's tree shining bright this holiday season. Everyone always likes to come out to see this beautiful tree lit. This year's tree is a 60 foot tall red fir from Shasta County. It's adorned with nearly 200 handmade ornaments and 10,000 LED lights.